you pull back the curtain on child stardom, it is not a pretty picture. Not as I see it, no. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most notable celebrities who, for one reason or another, decline to participate in reunion episodes, revivals, or reboots of their TV shows. Coffee tomorrow? 10.30. <laughs> I'll miss the coffees. Number 10. Tory Spelling Beverly Hills 90210 For 10 years, Tory Spelling portrayed the stylish Donna Martin on the Fox series Beverly Hills 90210. Okay. You all got your two cents in, so now it's my turn. Um, I just want to say that I want you guys to all know that I love all of you very much. Nearly a decade after the show's conclusion, a reboot was announced, intending to reunite some of the original cast, including Shannon Doherty, Jenny Garth, and Tori Spelling. Initially, Spelling delayed her appearance due to childbirth. Oh. And Spelling said yeah. of them, almost the entire original though. cast will be back yeah. in the reboot. I don't know when this is going to air. However, she ultimately chose to leave the show after learning she would be paid less than Doherty and Garth. Spelling had requested her $20,000 per episode salary be increased to match her co-star's $40,000 to $50,000 pay, but her plea was rejected. Nevertheless, she later reprised her role in another reboot titled BH90210, which unfortunately was cancelled after one season. Hey! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. After 20 years, hey tour? Two words, that's all I get? Number 9. Zachary Quinto. Heroes. Hello, Noah. Did you miss me? Zachary Quinto rose to prominence as the psychopathic villain Sylar on the TV series Heroes, initially a recurring character in the first season. Sylar evolved into a central figure in subsequent seasons, earning the adoration of many fans. Him. I've killed a lot of people, Elle. And you're as much to blame for that as anyone. Maybe even more so. Hence, when the show was given a second life in the form of the revival miniseries, Heroes Reborn, fans were eager to see Quinto back on their screens. But while he initially expressed interest in returning, Quinto left many disappointed when he ultimately announced that he would not be stepping back into Sila's shoes. According to the actor, he needed to cultivate other outlets for himself. Considering his extensive list of credits since, it seems he made the right choice. I thought I got to finish your mission report. I do. But I thought it would be more pleasing to engage with you socially. You old romantic. Number 8. Chad Michael Murray. Gilmore Girls. I'm on Tristan. Hi. So you new? Yeah, first day. Well, Remy's class is rough. Yeah, it seemed very intense. The 2016 Netflix revival of Gilmore Girls gave fans a perfect conclusion to the beloved comedy drama series. Well, almost perfect. Although the miniseries reunited nearly all of the original cast, there was one glaring omission. Chad Michael Murray, who had played bad boy Tristan de Grey, was nowhere to be seen. Instead, he had been replaced with another actor, Anton Narinsky. Tristan de Grey, who was originally played by Chad Michael Murray, was replaced by a different actor. That's right, Days of Our Lives star Anton Narinsky took on the role. While it was initially reported that Murray simply declined an invitation to appear, the actor later clarified that he was unable to do so as he had just welcomed his first child at the time. Nevertheless, he commended the work of Narinsky, who portrayed the character in his place, stating that he delivered a good job. Somebody went out and was Tristan, but uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't I mean, me, but I, I hear Strong work, strong work, good job, man. Number seven, Lauren Conrad, The Hills. Lauren Conrad was one of the first individuals to benefit from the reality TV boom in the early 2000s. Her rise to fame began in 2004 with her appearance on Laguna Beach, the real Orange County, and was further solidified with her own spin-off series, The Hills. I mean, it's sad that, you know, I lost her as a friend. It's sad the things she did to me. Mm -hmm. But maybe you haven't lost her forever. I don't want a friend that I know I will never trust again. However, as the seasons progressed, Conrad grew disillusioned and decided to exit the show before its final season. Therefore, it wasn't all that surprising when the series was revived in 2019 as The Hills New Beginnings, and Conrad declined to participate. I'm just in a, I really value 
my privacy. I, I, I like having a moment and knowing that I'm just sharing it with my family and, and not broadcasting it. The fashion designer cited a focus on her family and a desire for privacy as her reasons, options she likely wouldn't have had while filming a reality show. And um, I did it for a really long time and I'm so grateful for my time on television, but um, I'm in a place now where between my family and my career, like I've, I've got a pretty full plate, so I'm not looking to add anything. Number six, Chevy Chase. Community. Decades after breaking out on the first season of NBC's Saturday Night Live, Chevy Chase experienced a career resurgence when he returned to the network for the show Community. I'm ready to graduate. Yeah? Well, I'm ready to graduate first. Seems oddly appropriate. Congratulations, Pierce. Chase played the arrogant millionaire Pierce Hawthorne until his abrupt departure from the series in its fourth season. His exit came after an onset incident in which Chase reportedly uttered racist remarks. I thought you were dead. Hell no. After I got shot, I faked my death to teach you all a lesson. Lesson about what? Who can remember? It was more than a year ago. With the announcement of a feature-length community film in 2022, the speculation arose about Chase's potential involvement. However, series creator Dan Harmon dismissed those speculations, stating that he was unsure if it was even legally possible for Chase to appear. Despite this, the film will see the return of all the other main cast members, including Joel McHale and Donald Glover. I was told the script is done. Well, so, was it in your inbox? No, it's not. In, I haven't read it yet. Joe, kid, But what's I was happening? told it was done, so okay. I, it's really just a schedule thing. I'm in. I'm all in. Number five, Michael Onkeen, Twin Peaks. Sometimes an actor retires from show business and simply has no desire to return. That seemingly was the case with Canadian actor Michael Onkeen, who portrayed Sheriff Harry S. Truman in the first two seasons of Twin Peaks. We're in a slice of cherry pie. Incredible. Well, I'll tell you, we're sure glad to have the FBI here. When talks surfaced about reviving the show, Aunt Keen, who had retired from acting, was approached to reprise his role. Initially keen on the idea, Aunt Keen eventually lost interest and declined the offer, opting to remain retired. Hey, Joe. I understand you wanted to see the sheriff up here. Yes, I did. The role was eventually replaced with Truman's brother, Frank, portrayed by Robert Forster. Interestingly, Forster was originally hired as Harry Truman for the show's 1990 pilot, but he had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts, leading to Onkeen being cast. Good to see you again, Wally. It's good to see you too, Sheriff Truman. Number 4. David Hyde Pierce – Frasier a spin-off series itself, Frasier enjoyed a successful 11-season run, garnering numerous awards and propelling its main cast to household name status. This included David Hyde Pierce, who received critical acclaim and won four Emmy Awards for his portrayal of Frasier's younger brother, Niles. You're acting just like Dad. You take that yeah. back! <laughs> Although his stint on the show was a success, Pierce ultimately came to the realization that he wasn't quite interested in repeating the performance. Hence, when the revival of Frasier was ordered on Paramount Plus, the actor chose not to reprise the iconic role. We wanted it to be, it was always meant to be a, a, a rediscovery of a kind of a bookended relationship between me and my father, and then the same thing with me and my son. Nonetheless, he remains grateful for his time on the original series. Even without his involvement, the revival premiered to generally positive reviews and was promptly renewed for a second season. I, I reached out to your Uncle Niles and this is what he wrote. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring except Fraser, who went overboard and ruined the eggnog. <laughs> Number 3. Jeanette McCurdy – iCarly If my dad asked me to spend some time with him in Italy, I'd say, well, First, I'd say, oh, so you're my dad. <laughs> and then I'd go. The 2021 revival of the Nickelodeon sitcom iCarly was missing one key figure, Jeanette McCurdy. The actress portrayed the tomboyish Sam Puckett in all six seasons and returned to star alongside Ariana Grande in the spin-off Sam and Cat. Years later, McCurdy disclosed that during her time on iCarly, she faced severe maltreatment from her own mother. Her approach was very unhealthy and informed by her own lack of self-work, and she lived vicariously 
through me. This contributed to her decision to quit acting in the late 2010s following her mum's passing. When she was approached to reprise her role for the revival series, McCurdy declined, preferring not to be reminded of her past experience. Instead, she directed her energy towards her one-woman tragicomedy show, I'm Glad My Mum Died, which she later adapted into a best-selling book. I earned that title through the writing of the book, but I wanted it to be something that would grab people's attention and get them to pick up the book and then hopefully learn by the end of it. Number two, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, Full House. This house was apparently too full for Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, the former child stars who made their acting debut sharing the role of Michelle Tanner on Full House, were noticeably absent from the 2016 Netflix revival Fuller House. Well, Michelle sends her love, but she's busy in New York running her fashion empire. <laughs> Following their time on the show, the Olsens continued to act in movies and TV before eventually retiring to focus on their fashion brands. Due to their prolonged hiatus from acting, the sisters turned down the offer to return, stating that it was also bad timing. And do you, do you remember, like, what's your earliest member, m memory of that? There's quite a few. I'm not sure if they're memories or old footage. The show's executive producer confirmed their absence, but expressed that they're still cherished as part of the Full House family. Here's hoping they can find time for the second spin-off, Fullest House. Comet. You live here! <laughs> we all live here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Kim Cattrall Sex and the City After portraying Samantha Jones throughout all six seasons of Sex and the City and its two feature films, Kim Cattrall decided she was done with the character. What time is checkout? A proposed third film was retooled into the revival series, and Just Like That, which premiered in 2021. Since Cattrall had already declined to appear in the third movie, she reportedly wasn't even approached to reprise her role for the show. Nonetheless, she has stated that it wouldn't have altered her decision. But after Sex in the City 2, she swore off reprising her role. I love her so much, but she lives in a time and a place. And I honor that. Despite her initial opposition, Cattrall ultimately made a brief cameo in the second season finale. However, due to her strained relationship with the rest of the cast, she filmed her scene separately, without interacting with any of her former co-stars. Who's Samantha? This is Annabelle Bronstein. I'm from Inja. Ta and Shirio. And have a great night. Which of these stars would you have loved to see back full time on their respective shows? Let us know in the comments below. I was going to surprise you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.